All right, everyone, here is my travel makeup bag. It looks a little bit bigger on camera right now, I feel. This is actually a smaller bag for me to be taking on vacation. And the reason is my skincare bag that we're about to jump into, that bag, you guys, is big. And there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Excited to show you guys that bag, but here we are. This makeup bag, by the way, is from Violet Gray. I really like it just because I like the patent leather, but also the zipper is very wide. You can see like, you can kind of sprawl everything out and see what's going on in here. But yep, we got, like I said, a lot going on. Let's jump right in. You guys, we got a lot to talk about and I still need to finish packing. I have to do self tan, I do self tan, I gotta do my nails. There's a lot of stuff going on. I have my Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer. So this is SPF 30. And this is the shade Melrose. So this shade is typically too dark for me. Again, like I said, I am going to be doing a little bit of self tan before I go. So I thought that this would be a good time to incorporate this into my routine. I love, love this stuff. So you can see, yeah, it's a little bit too dark for me. Not by much, but I would say about a shade. Also, I just love the way this looks on the skin. It's such an effortless product. It's not too dewy. I know it looks a little bit dewy on camera, but it's more of like a natural finish. It doesn't feel gritty. It's just an in general, like a very um, well done formula. And this is certainly, I think my favorite Tower 28 product. I usually use Larchmont, but this is again, the shade Melrose. I'm also bringing this one from Wet n Wild. It's the Tinted Hydrator. So I don't talk about this product for a couple of reasons. One, the shades are not great. The shade range is really bad. And secondly, the shade that I do have is too dark. So this is the shade Light, but I have this and I really honestly love the formula. So I figured that this would be a good time to get some use out of it. So there is a swatch of the shade Light. Again, it's a little bit darker than Larchmont. It's also a little bit more pink. So these are the two foundations I am bringing. Hopefully I can kind of mix them together if need be to get my perfect shade. I do also have a tinted sunscreen that is in my skincare bag and I'll talk about that one more in a second. Concealer, I only have this one. This is the shade one from Kosas. We'll see how this goes. I feel like this is going to be too light for me. I might also bring my Becca under eye corrector because that'll probably go better with my tan, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to the beach. I want to bring this powder because I'm hoping that this is really going to help set my makeup in place. If you guys haven't heard me blab about this powder before, this is the Say Air Set and it is by far the best powder that I have ever used. It is insanely, insanely gorgeous. It is very finely milled, but not really creamy finely milled. So there are some powders that are very finely milled, but they still have a bit of heft to them. When they go onto the skin, they still look like product, but this one is insanely lightweight on the skin, never drying. And by the way, I was getting a couple of questions about um, the fact that there is shimmer in here. It's not something that you see on the skin. I think it just helps to not make the skin look flat. I know a few people were kind of worried about that. And honestly, when I first heard about that, I also was, but it's not something that I think anyone needs to worry about. At least in my experience, I have not seen it at all on my skin. I have a few different cheek products. I have three and look at how, I love how small they all are. Again, I really wanted to kind of save room for a lot of skincare stuff that I'm about to talk about, especially because I don't really have a ton of skincare minis and I don't wanna switch up my skincare routine on vacation. I, I just feel like that's a bad move, especially I'm going to be on a plane. So planes can already kind of mess with your skin. So I'm not really going to take the risk, but here are three minis that I have really been enjoying. So this is a newer product to me. This is the Cha Cha Tint. I've been loving the Benetins. They last so long and I just love how seamless they look on the skin. I would give you guys a swatch, but I need to be showing my hands for the rest of this video. But this stuff is so beautiful. It's like such a vibrant, pretty orange color. Perfect if you have a tan, I would say. And it lasts forever, so that's perfect for where I'm going. Again, I'll probably be sweating. I also have this mini Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. So cute, although, no, 
I'm not gonna do that today. Every time I see this, I do a rant about how the larger one was $20 and now I'm pretty sure like this is $20. But anyway, you guys, this formula is really beautiful. And again, this is the shade Baked. It's one of my favorite cream bronzers on the market. I just love the shade. I love the way it blends and it has a good adherence when it goes onto the skin. That's something that I have noticed with cream bronzers. A lot of them have, I think, too much slip and too much silicone in them. So I feel like they don't want to actually stick where you put them. So they're kind of like moving around and in some cases, they kind of don't want to stick to certain areas of my skin, like especially on my cheeks. It's something that I've noticed with quite a few bronzers. Never have had that experience with this one, one that I still very much love. And I'm also going to take the sample I have of the shade Blossoming from Kier Weiss. You know what, I have the choice to say that this is gross or I have the choice to say this is well loved. All right, guys, this is well loved, but I think it's time I use up the rest of it and hopefully I can make a little bit of a dent in it when I go on vacation. I have a bunch of cream eyeshadows I need to talk about. Three sticks I have here. So the first one I have is N Taupe from Beauty Pie. This has been my matte cream shadow of choice. Look at that. It's just very effortless extremely easy to blend, lasts so well on the skin. And this is going to be just like a perfect way to define the eyes. You know, on vacation, I don't wanna to spend too much time doing my makeup, but I want kind of foolproof makeup that I know is going to look good every time. And these do a really exceptional job. I also have two products from e.l.f. These are the Cookies and Dream No Budge Smudge Sticks. These are the two shades I'm taking. So. This is Cookie Lover. It is, this is a very, very deep brown shade with a touch of a shimmer throughout. You can't really see it too much, but this is kind of the same story. These blend so beautifully. They last very well. And this is going to be a great color to kind of smudge on the outer corners. And then I'm bringing my white shade, which is my new favorite. This is the shade Sweet Cream. And I've been loving adding this to the inner portion of my eye, just to give it a really bright and awake look. And it just, again, it blends so seamlessly. I actually am preferring this to the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the Shade Milk. I think that this formula is better. I have some lip products here as well. I did just want kind of like some options to go with. So here are my lip product choices that I'm bringing. So number one for lip care, I'm bringing the Cookies and Dream um, Lip Exfoliator. This smells like Oreos and it does a really good job of like gently exfoliating. So it's not gonna be really intense, but it's also easy to do like on the go really quickly in the morning. So I'm taking this with me, Fit Glow Night Serum as just like my lip treatment of choice. It's like an experience putting this on the lips. Like the texture is so creamy, comforting, and it feels really luxe when it's on the lips. And it does a really good job of healing them. So. I also like to apply this like before lipstick if my lips are feeling particularly dry. It's a really, really nice product. They also make a bunch of shades. I mentioned these in my Best of Beauty for 2021. And I've been talking a lot about these e.l.f. products, but I really can't get enough of these. And they're really where I've been reaching for the most. So first I have the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner, and this is the shade Light Brown. This is my favorite shade. I just, I really, really like this shade because it's a brown, but it's not too dark. Again, it's a light brown. It goes on the lips really beautifully. You can smudge it out, but it also stays in place. Awesome. I really, really love that one. And then I have two of the glossy lip stains. I'm going to bring the shade Power Move. There it is right there. And then I'm also going to bring the shade Basic Beige. I also really like the shade Pinkies Up, but I've been using that one constantly. And I wanna try and use some of these other shades. So those are the two shades right there. I was really trying to avoid staining my hands, but there you go, I just did. All right, only a few more products. I found this mini Mac Fix Plus. I'm like, that's perfect. I was looking for just like a really easy, glowy kind of primer product, and I thought that this would be perfect. I can use it on top of makeup. Perfect, I love it. And also, I can just like throw it in my purse, which is great. And I don't even, honestly, you guys, I don't really carry a purse, but usually when I'm out of town or like on vacation, I will. I am bringing my Revlon Eyes Wide Open Mascara for a mascara. I've really, really been liking this one. It's good because it gives me, oh no, did I just get mascara on this? 
I'm not gonna touch it. It gives me a really wide-eyed look, really volumizing, but it still gives you that kind of fanned out look. Great at defining the eyes. I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz for brow product. And then for the gel, I'm bringing this one from M Cosmetics, very small and petite. And I do need to use this one up. I've had it for a while. And for tools, this is what I have going. So I have this e.l.f. sponge that I need to wash before I put it back in the bag. This sponge is really, really freaking good. It's so soft and blends everything perfectly. I have my Sephora 15 brush. This is a wider brush. This is a flatter, dense brush. It's really nice for cream eyeshadow. It's one of my favorites. I also have this brush from the Cookies and Dream collection from e.l.f. And I'm bringing this because I feel like it's so fluffy and big. I think it would be so perfect for setting the face very lightly. I also have this brush from Beauty Pie. This is the Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush. I'm still using this one. Gonna see how it goes with foundation, but I also think it would be really nice for cheek products. Oh, and lastly, I am going to bring the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury because this stuff is heavy duty. It, your makeup is definitely going to last with this stuff. I think for a longer day, this would be something good to have on hand. And going to the summer, I feel like this is a good investment. There you go. Now let's move on into my skincare bag. All right, <laughs> see what I mean? Just the sheer size difference. This is also like a lot of other like toiletry stuff. By the way, this bag, this very dirty bag, is from Bagu. I tried to look for it before this video. I don't think they make this particular print anymore. I really like the print because it looks like my dog. But yeah, I don't think that they make this one in particular, but they always have really, really cute prints. I like this one too, because it has this handle. I can just hang it on the back of a door. But let's see what is in here. And spoiler alert, it's a lot, you guys. So number one, this is the tinted sunscreen I was talking about. This is the L to MD UV Elements. This is typically too dark for me, though I love the formula and it works really well for me. But again, like I can't wear this on an everyday basis. But as far as tinted mineral sunscreens go, this is definitely one of my favorites. Really, really good stuff though. So I'm excited to be able to get some use out of this. As far as Elta MD products go, this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, next we have this bottle, which you're probably like, what is in here? This is actually the Neutrogena body oil. I will leave it linked down below because this is my absolute favorite makeup remover. You can find them in travel sizes. So I'll try and leave both of those linked down below. And by the way, if you guys do decide to buy any products from this video, using my links does help to support my channel and I do really appreciate it. This is the light sesame formula. Um, I found out about it from Abby Young. I love her videos. This is like by far the best cleansing oil I've ever used. I cannot get enough of it. So I put the rest of one of my bottles into this one and I'm going to take it with me. It's also perfect because you can use it to cleanse the skin. You can use it for shaving. You can use it after your shower just to give yourself a glow. I also have this new product from Pacifica. This is their reusable forehead mask. I have been every morning, or at least trying to every morning, adding a layer of my snail mucin essence from Cosrx and then sealing this over the top. I've been finding that this in combination with using my frownies, which I'll probably talk about in a second, has made a really, really big improvement in my fine lines on my forehead. So really, really like this one. Going to be taking this one with me. Oh, and by the way, if you see the eye masks, I would personally skip on those. I do have that and I just find that the silicone is too thick for under the eyes. Now for eye masks that I do like, I have these ones from Wander Beauty, the baggage claim. Um, I have three packs because my sister also really loves them. So it'll be fun to do these with her. These do an insane job of depuffing the area and they're also just one of those really hydrating eye masks that really makes a big difference. Some I feel like, oh, my skin looks hydrated, but this one really does a good job of kind of like, like really depuffing the area, making everything look really smooth and soft. They definitely make a big difference. Now, this is a new moisturizer that I've been using. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue All-in-One Snail Mucin Moisturizer. So if you want just like the Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence, but in a moisturizer form, I definitely recommend checking this out. This formula is beautiful. I can't get enough of it. And also their mask in this line, I'll leave that link down below as well 
is insane. I can't believe I forgot to talk about that in my February favorites video because that has been, it's, it's just incredible. I love it. So I wanted to try this one out. This is a new purchase and I think that it'll just be nice to have something that feels a bit richer in the fingers to be able to put all over the face and kind of have like a one and done item. And it's like 95% snail mucin, so it's good stuff. These are the frownies that I was just talking about. So there are these little adhesive stickers that you can put on any areas where you have wrinkles. Don't put them like under the eyes or anything like that, but on the forehead, it keeps you from moving those muscles and overnight, it really makes a difference. And if you're using them like once every three nights, you can really keep up with the results without having to use them every night. I've been super freaking impressed by them and I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna bring them with me. Like I said, I went light with the makeup so that I could bring like my arsenal of skincare and sunscreen stuff. So I have three more. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot. So this is like my go-to, my favorite. It's the Kiss Me Mommy UV Aqua Milk Sunscreen. It's bomb. The ingredients are insanely beautiful. There's some oils in here, but it's still a very lightweight product. No white cast, affordable. Again, like this has been a holy grail for years. Hopefully it's in stock while I'm talking about it right now. But if it's not, I also really love the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel. By the way, both of these are SPF 50, which is great. Um, I like this one, it's a little bit glowier and it has a little bit of a thicker texture. This one is a little bit thinner. And by the way, neither of these have um, alcohol, which is great. Works beautifully under makeup too. So if you've been wondering, and then I like to use the Super Goop mineral matte screen as something to reapply over makeup. It has a nice matte texture, so it's almost kind of like blotting papers, but in a sunscreen. So I just find that over makeup, it does a good job of adding sun protection without really moving around the makeup that much and kind of just giving you an overall more blurred, perfected look. It is more of like that silicone texture you can see there. I don't really notice the tint on my skin. It blends in and looks really silky. My cleanser, which I gotta look and see if I have a smaller size of this because I feel like I did, but I've recently been using the Naked Papaya Cleanser from Kinship. And this stuff is so good. I don't know why it took me so long to try it, but it's a very gentle enzyme cleanser. And I just find that it makes my skin feel so much smoother, but it's also very gentle, which is important to me. I don't want a really stripping cleansing step. This one has been treating me nicely. So I'm going to try and take this one. Another way too large product <laughs> is the Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate. This is a leave-in conditioner and heat protectant. It is so beautiful. It's just the right amount of moisture and heat protection without being really heavy in the hair. This is really good stuff. I'm really hoping on doing updated like hair care tutorial. You will definitely be seeing this in that video. My vitamin C, I'm taking my travel size of the matter of fact. If you guys have not tried their vitamin C and you are like a vitamin C con you need to try this one. It's by far the best formula that I've ever used. So it's 20% ascorbic acid, but the actual concentration of this product lasts so much longer than a normal vitamin C. It's a completely waterless formula and water is typically what can kind of destabilize vitamin C. This stuff is incredible. The results I've seen are beautiful too. Really, really good stuff. Especially going into summer, it's good to kind of start to reincorporate vitamin C into a routine. I'm also bringing, yeah, you can see, like this is a lot of freaking skincare and hair care stuff. I'm bringing my Holy Hydration Sleeping Mask from e.l.f. I'm either gonna bring this and maybe I'll just bring this one instead. I also got this sample of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Rehydrating Mask. I haven't used this one, but this is pretty big and I really feel like I need to minimize this bag a little bit. So I think I'm gonna take this one instead. Just know that I repurchased this one and I absolutely, absolutely love it. It is a skin saver if your skin is in a bind. But I think I wanna try this one. This has a very interesting formula. You see how thick that is? It almost kind of feels like like the Elizabeth Arden eight hour miracle cream. What is that stuff called? Except this is a little bit more silky and it melts easier. But I just feel like this would be a great kind of sealant for all of your makeup for, or not your makeup, for all of your skincare. 
The Ultra Facial Cream from Kiehl's is one of my favorites. It's so gentle and simple. Have you guys tried this Verb Duo? I'm bringing this because I don't really have any shampoo and conditioner. I'm sure that the place I'm going to will have it, but just in case, I'm gonna bring this. I'll also be bringing the Pret a Powder from Bumble and Bumble. This lasts so much longer than a regular like aerosol dry shampoo too, because those just, you just go through them so fast. I've had this for so long and I'm only like halfway through. You just take a little bit in your hand and put it through the hair. Works beautifully and also great just to add like volume. The last items in here are more like toiletries. Like I have some toothpaste. I have some deodorant, some mouthwash. Oh, I love these microfiber towels for the face. I use it with the oil. Another recommendation from Abby Young and I Love this cleansing duo. I literally couldn't be happier with it. I have this saline nasal gel. I know like not the sexiest item, but if you guys get a really dry nose, especially from airplanes, this stuff is the shit. Really the only thing that has helped like my dry nose. And for perfume, why not? I mean, it's vacation, baby. This stuff smells like the best sunscreen smell, like perfect, like Hawaiian tropic kind of sunscreen smell, but just like elevated and like a touch sexier. It is beautiful and I can't wait to wear this for vacation. All right, everyone, that is what I am packing as far as makeup and skincare go. I will leave everything that I talked about in today's video linked down below. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you in my next one.